Hi friends! I have a very cozy, very witchy game for you guys today. It is called the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood, and the only thing I know about it is that we get to create our own tarot cards, and that there's witchy elements to it, and that the art style is very cute. It has come highly recommended, so let's get into it. Eternal Void, heed the words of a prisoner. I beg of you, send me a curse to break this immortal isolation. Hear the chant my mentor once forbid me to recite. Should I be saying this out loud? I feel like I shouldn't. You guys can read it. I'm not saying that out loud, just in case. Uh-huh. Okay. That's a thing. We're not saying that out loud. Take my pride, my sorrow, my chains, turn them into power, wisdom, revenge. Mm-hmm. 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 Side note. Side note. Do you guys know American Horror Story, the Coven? There was a chant that one of the, that like a spell that one of the actors had to say to, um, oh, what is the word? To, uh, uh, summon Papa Legba. And she started feeling so sick after saying all of this stuff. So awful, so terrible. So, you know. And, like, terrible things kept happening to her. So just, you know, in the event that things like that can happen, I'm just gonna be a little cautious. Just a little cautious. <laughs> That's a beautiful song. It feels great to be awakened again. Hmm. Who are you? Ooh! Who are you? My name is Fortuna. I am a witch. Why did you summon me? Because I would rather lose my pride than my sanity. Sounds fun. Tell me more. There is a fly in my room? Felt the need to tell you guys that. Sounds fun, tell me more. I was condemned to exile by the leader of my coven. Today marks the 200th year of my millennium-long sentence. And I can't take it anymore, I need your help. I want to know what, what she did. I want to know what she did. Why did you get exiled? Give us the tea. What's the juicy hot goss? What do you use as a clock? Humanity's cradle, planet Earth. Oh, 200 human years. That's quite some time. I feel you. I had been imprisoned for 5,402 years until you summoned me. Isolation can really do a number on you. Is the music loud? I don't think I can do anything about it at this moment, but... I will help you. I shall become your familiar. Now get comfortable. You're going to seal a contract. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude. I am really thankful you freed me from my cosmic prison. Um, of course, you are welcome. Is something the matter? Not really, it's just that after all I've, all the reading I did about behemoths, I didn't expect your behavior to be so mundane. Whoa, mundane? That hurt. Oh, um, I mean, you're still intimidating, but I always pictured you speaking in archaic poetry or something like that. I like you. I like you so much, I'm gonna let you pick the terms of our contract. You will still have to pay a high price for my magic, though. I'm well aware of that. I won't back off. Alright, then let's begin your training. The ceremony is five days long. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Right now. They're so terrifying! Oh my god, look at their face! They have an eyeball on their chest! Oh god, this would make a really cool body paint if I'm gonna be honest. 
You're already my favorite master. The first day is the easiest one. An interview so we can get to know each other. Ooh. Tell me about yourself. What is your specialty? I'm a fortune teller. Oh, one of my favorites. Would you mind doing a reading for me? I can't, as part of my sentence. Adana banished my tarot deck. Adana is the leader of my coven. Wow, you must have done something really grave to get exiled and deprived of your magic. I, I foretold the falling of my coven. Bleak. But how are your visions your fault? After my premoni premonition, the coven was consumed by despair. Many witches came to me for counsel to prepare before the end times. Idana didn't like that. She holds supreme authority in our coven, so she decided to exile me to this wandering asteroid. Our leader determined that even if all covens must fall eventually, advertising their demise only pushes the catastrophe forward. Idana decided my power posed a great danger to the peace inside our coven. She concluded that I had to learn to reason instead of relying exclusively on my gift. So I was sentenced to meditate for a millennium, deprived of my deck. Since I'm here, I deduce that you don't agree with your leader's judgment. She was afraid of my influence. Many of our sisters put their trust in my advice. I'm sure that hag thought I was undermining her supremacy and decided to cast me out. You sure sound sour about it. Would you kill her? Should you have the chance? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Um, I don't think I would. No. That sounds, that sounds, that sounds a little, a little harsh, does it not? I mean, she sentenced me to literally a thousand years. A millennium is a thousand years, right? She sentenced me to so long here. No. Isolation didn't eat away at your mercy yet, I see. Okay, I will help you recover your powers. Will you get me a new tarot deck? Tarot? No. I mean, tarot's cute, but it's too human-centric to grasp the hidden truths of the cosmos. You will create your own deck. My own deck? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Shh, 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 shh. Leave the details to me. That is what five these five days of training are for. You're going back to which school, Fortuna? For this training, we will review the four basic elements of magic. Air, water, earth, and fire. Oh no. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Plus, you'll get to seal a contract with me for each of the those energies. Now get some rest. Tomorrow we will start with the invisible energy, air. I'm really trying hard not to make an Avatar The Last Airbender joke, if I'm gonna be honest. Lesson two, context. That is so cool. First day of school, are you nervous? To be honest, I'm just happy to be able to hear something other than my own voice. That's cool. Today we're going to talk about air. I'm going to focus on what will be useful for creating our own definition deck. Understand? Und er, understood. Air represents the invisible, the, in the negative space that which imbues everything. Air is the collective subconscious energy within a community, the ecosystem. Air is everything that surrounds us. Air is context. Exactly. Master your air and you will acquire unparalleled awareness. There is power in knowing, uh, knowing one's place. Even when isolated, you are one with the cosmos. Now, for the first part of our contract, we will seal, seal our air energies together. My question is, what did they do? What did they do to get put in it? They were, they were also, like, locked up. What did they do? 
What did they do? Yes, please. As I promised, I will let you decide the nature of every seal. You just need to answer a question. Be careful. Your answers will affect your fate dramatically. Oh no, I wasn't aware this was something in the game. I don't like making decisions. Okay. I'm ready, I guess. For the air seal. How do you want to be perceived? I want to be feared. I want to be adored. I want to be pitied. Okay, well, I hate being pitied, so. I don't think I want people to fear me. That seems like a lonely life. People only, only talking to me because they're afraid I'm going to smite them. People only worshipping me because they're afraid I'm going to smite them. <laughs> I want to be adored. That seems like the best option. I guess. I guess. I mean, there's downsides to it. Ugh, I want to be adored. I guess. Ready for an ego trip, eh? I just didn't... Well, like the other options, okay? I didn't like the other options. Don't judge me. I'm on board. Inspiring adoration will allow you to gather support from many. But be careful you don't get overthrown by your idol persona. I understand. Allow me to seal our energies together. Our air energies together, then. Ooh, fun. So cool. My face is covering what just happened. Um, there was like a na there's a thing with a nine. I'm sure it's not that important. I hope. <laughs> I don't know what the number meant. It's fine. That felt good. Oh great. That seems sinister. Can't you feel the power? Yes, I feel it, but I also feel like I was tearing apart. Well, you're sharing your energy with your familiar, so... Well, girl, I am a behemoth after all. What did you expect? I know, I know. I can take it. Good. Now focus on that bit of air energy we unlocked. We're going to use it to create our first card. I noticed you have a ceremonial... Tokonoma? For witchcraft in the basement. Head over there, and I will teach you to create cards. <gasps> uh huh. This is the arcane grimoire, opera house. Oh, there's that symbol again. Oh, it's energy cost. Maybe. Maybe that's what that number means. Uh. Opera house and enchanted. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Here you'll acquire, oh, the magic images that can be used to craft your cards. There are three types. Spheres for the backgrounds. Okay. Arcana for the main figure on the card. And symbols to add some magic pizzazz to your compositions. They all cost magic energy to summon. Right now, you can only acquire air type elements because we've only unlocked the air seal. You can go ahead and browse the grimoire to savor your future creations. Ooh! Not enough energy. <gasps> Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't like water. The road? Ooh. Ooh, I hate that one. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Let me choose which one I want, and then... 
and then I'll read it to you guys, even though you can absolutely see. I'm not sure... I'm thinking maybe the thing behind my face that you can't see, but I can, is how much energy I have, which is nine, but I don't know... Right, and then this is- this must be air. Forgotten factory. Oh, fun! Magical post office, that's so cute! Magical forest realm inside the folds of time, only accessible by witches, familiars. The magical post office is the quickest way to send letters and parcels uh, to one witch dominion to another. Witches favor this method of communication because there is no known way to tamper with it. Cute! Opera house, an enchanted opera house that magnifies the emotions of anything sung inside its chambers. When Jasmine's mentor retired, she summoned a dozen acres of enchanted grasslands inspired by a poem written by the youngest witch of her coven. This is so pretty. Um, I, 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 that, this one for right now. Although the post office is cute, but I kind of want to save it. Is that bad? Oh, yep, that's, that's, that's our, yep, okay. Um, Seed of Knowledge. That looks terrifying. Ooh, oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute! What did I choose? I chose the prairie one, right? The, the field or whatever? Uh-huh, this is so cute. Goddess in love with a side reel? Side reel. Doesn't matter. Um, ooh! Demons have been taken- have been taking care of the soul and heart for uh, many tribes since the birth of the mortal kin. These mortals can grasp a blur of, of the ideas we witches uh, weave into light of the stars. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! This is so cool. What are we doing? Well, I think I think this one and the shaman might be the only ones I can do. Indeed they are. Let's do this one, I guess. Okay, we only have three left. Golden shovel, wonderful. What can I afford? Onyx Trumpet, blatant way to announce your will and desire. The instrument has many detractors, but no one is available is able to ignore its sentiment. Ooh, wing. Not only allows user the user to fly, but allows them to gift wings to other beings. I'm trying to think of what would go good with 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 what we've already chosen. And let me let me just say that the pickings are slim. Arbiter's most essential tool, whatever they write in these books, is updated immediately in the Master Grimoire. And once the information is classified by a superior officer, replicated throughout every book of every arbiter. Okay. Dark Matter Bow, arcane bow designed to hunt spirits. It cannot hurt physical entities, so sometimes witches use it for mock battles and recreating William Tell's infamous shots. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this one. We have one little piece left. Oh, we get to do it now. That's wonderful. Can I? Oh, you can move. I was. I didn't read. I'm sorry. I can. Okay. Oh, rotate scale images. Amazing. Any images? Uh, would you want to stock the card? The card. Uh huh. Don't worry. It won't cost you any extra energy. Put your soul into it. They mean literally, don't they? Do this in the middle. Um. Can I- can I flip? And then rotate this 
Oh, I kind of like the cloud behind it. There. Hmm, composition is not my strong suit. Can I make you smaller? I don't think I can. Okay, that'll just, that'll have to do. It'll have to do for now. I am not spending another moment on this. The meaning of a card varies depending on which elements you combine. Okay, card legend. The prairie grants a space for meditation. They save knowledge. They remember crimes. Okay. The sound from the trumpet garners everyone's attention. A hurricane of air energy will stir luck and call for the unexpected. Meanings, guide, discovery, justice, predestination, and luck. Well, all right then. Air elements lean towards relationships, community, and karma. Pay attention to your studies so you can tune your divination style towards the ideas you fancy the most. It can be tricky at the beginning. The only way to master this is through experience. Oh, we got a little thing. Oh, sorry. Did you like it? Looks promising. Feels way more complex than tarot, but I can I can sense its potential. Good, we're only getting just we're only just getting started. Uh, it will make more sense when you try your hand at reading them. Oh dear, we'll wait until you made at least two cards though. There's not a lot of predestination in shuffling a single card. That's so unsettling. Them laughing is just so unsettling. I'm sorry, you must be tired. Go to bed and review the fundamentals of air. Tomorrow we will unlock your water. Ugh, I will make you happy, I promise. Fingers crossed. See, why does it look good there? Don't be afraid of him, become his master. O oh, Fortuna, each day me cometh to teacheth thee. For briefeth is the cosmos and eternal thy grief. What are you doing? I thought I could get more in character to satisfy your expectations. I'd rather focus on your study on our studies. Oh come on. You're not the only one excited about being able to talk to somebody after eternal imprisonment. Loosen up a bit. Well, we're we're leaning in. <laughs> what? See? They love it. They love it. They love us. Colors me art thee well. They love it. I give up. Now come here and teach me your magic. Even joking around doesn't stop you from being intense. Okay, focus. Let's begin today's lesson. The second element we will unlock is water. Water represents substance, meaning the hidden nature of things. Water comes in many shapes, purposes, uh, purpose, desire, willpower. Water is everything that lives inside of you. Water is emotion. That's a good synthesis, yes. Master your water and you will have the key to any heart and soul. There's power in empathy and self-awareness. Water is my forte, but I understand. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't worry, I'm here to support you. Now for the second part of our contract, we will seal our water energies together. Yes, please. 
Again, you decide the nature of our contract. Answer this question. And remember, your answer will affect your fate dramatically. I know, I know. For the water seal, what is your innermost desire? Um, listen. Romance and, and magic? Never a good time, right? Never a good time. Power? That feels a little crazy to me. I'd say knowledge. Knowledge. Oh, knowledge. It's not a common desire. Is it not? I feel like that was the safest option. But it makes sense. Enlightenment is a mighty resource for a witch. Can't wait to see what you'll make of new knowledge. I wonder if you can play this in a way where you are just like, you you choose the, the first option where like, they're like, do you want to, do you want to unalive your coven leader? We say no. I wonder if you could just be like, yes. And then I want the power. I like all of like the, I want to be feared. I wonder what'll happen. You know, like when you're just like a crazy. Anyways, can't wait to see what you'll make of new knowledge. Although be careful not to stumble onto one of those cosmic truths um, that are better left unknown. Do want my favorite witch to lose her mind. Now, I have a question. Hmm? When will all the contracts uh, we've been sealing become effective? Immediately. I mean, they're etched into the cosmic wheel as we speak. In time, it'll all come to you. And you will be pretty aware of the moment they're delivered. I see. I can tell you one thing for sure. They'll come in the same order we sealed them. First, you will get your adoration. You'll notice how people idolize you. Sometime after, you'll discover a new source of knowledge. Then, whatever we seal on your earth will happen. And finally, in the distant future, you'll pay the price we agreed on the fire seal. A price, huh? Everything you've asked for will come at a price. I guess your summoning spell is forbidden for a reason, huh? Having second thoughts? No. I need this. Well, I'm having second thoughts. I... Ooh. Seal the second contract already. Brace yourself. Oh, we got a little nine. A little blue nine. Ugh, my bones. Woohoo! I feel like they're not a familiar. I feel like they're a leech. Girl, you have power. I just hope this torture is worth it. It will be. Have faith. Did I make a new card now? Yes. Same as yesterday. Head to the basement. Oh, goody. I like the cute little cauldron with the spout. That's adorable. Great card. Okay, so we need something for air. This one. Ooh, this one might be fun. Um, during the last war before the Age of Witches, the ancients pierced these la lands so deep the planet is always bleeding lava. The first witches tried to heal this dominion by covering it with the tears of water deities. The waters of... Valana Payash? G Toth Yothi are forever boiling. What an interesting name. I wonder how you pronounce it. Rituals performed using salt from these waters grant access to the most profound emotions. Interesting. Oh, right, because it's water. So these are all these all have water in them. That makes sense. Shipwreck library. Home of, water, home of a water deity that collects every letter that was never said. 
or never got to its destination, which is can purchase this lost knowledge in exchange for unedited poems or shell beautiful shell beautiful shells. I mean that one is really pretty. Ooh. A humble wooden dock cursed by a heartbroken witch. The legend says that anyone who parts ways with someone and sails away from this dock will never meet the one they left behind again. That one is pretty. I have enough. I think I have enough for this. I don't like it though. Home of the Coven of the Jade Sculptors. The Jade. Uh, the giant Jade Monks statues. The fly again, I'm so sorry. Giant jade monk statues guard the souls of every member of the clan. If you bring the heart of a diseased jade witch back to these waterfalls, she can be born again as a mortal, retaining her memories but not her skills. Those who are reborn must act as servants for the living witches of their coven. Hey, dude. Oh, that one's really pretty. Oh, I could do this one too. Red Strings Club, a cursed cocktail bar that takes the soul of whoever owns it hostage in exchange for supernatural abilities to read into their customers' souls. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, I like this one. I feel like this one will be very interesting. Looking for blue. Okay, mother wolf and children. A behemoth born from the erratic retelling. Look at the cute little lammies! Oh my god, the little lammies. They're so adorable. Sorry. Retelling of a popular fable. Every time a witch tells a story, the seed of knowledge absorbs the sediments of her words. When a tale is narrated enough times, a minor behemoth will appear. The wolf mother now wanders the cosmos, adopting orphaned magical creatures. I don't have enough for this one. Um, this one? Forbidden door to pleasure? That might look good with the background we chose. Witches found this door changed to the ever-expanding edges of this universe. No one ever dared to go through it. Once a young witch looked through its keyhole and fell victim to a seven-year-long orgasm. Addicted, she went back to look again, but this time she exploded into red dust. Oh dear. Maybe we don't choose that one. That sounds excruciating. <laughs> okay, we can do the bartender. Ooh, the bartender would go really well with the other one that we didn't choose. He is used to mourn and celebrate with people from all walks of life. He knows how to look into the soul of a mortal, and he knows how to exploit it. Look at the little cigarette! That's so funny to me. Oh, we don't have enough for that one. Or that one. Okay, what can we choose? We could choose this one, or... This one. Um. Oh, these are gonna look so bad. I just don't like the door. The door is terrifying. Fine, we'll choose the door. It might look. It might look good with 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 our stuff. Golden shovel. Okay, bottomless jug. Its contents are sour because it pours the unshed tears of the dead. Great. Last trident. They say it will only make traitors bleed. There's only one that has been lost since they used it in the trial that got Adana expelled from her former coven. You don't say. So Adana got expelled from a former coven. Has her own coven now and is the leader of that coven. 
and realized that another witch was being adored more than her and trusted more than her and was like, you're out of here. A little suspicious. Maybe we can do this one. Minister of Secrets. Whatever secret you confess, the Minister of Secrets will keep anyone from spreading it. The spell will break if the eel dies. For this one, one glass will make you happy, two glasses will make you horny, three glasses will make you honest. I feel like this goes with the door. I feel like this goes really well with the door. Just the message? I don't like it. But the message goes well with it. Or this one, a mirror that only shows the reflection of its owner. You can't lie while looking at it, so witches use it to find out if they are fooling themselves, which happens quite often. Oh. Hmm. Snow cat eyes? Eyes of a cat from the crystal nebula dimension. If you steal the eye of a snow cat in a glass doll, it'll come to life and protect you until it shatters. They're extremely fragile and extremely dangerous. No way. Okay. Um, let's do this one. I just feel like they, all of the elements will look good together, I hope. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. What is this? Oh, this is the door. I feel like the backgrounds just really mess everything up, if I'm gonna be honest. Remember when I was like, I feel like the door goes really well with the background. I, I was wrong. Can I make it smaller? Can I zoom in? No? I, this is okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Well, um... Oh, let's put that. Let's put yes. Get it yeah, out. Oh, well, kind of shoddy work there if I do say so myself. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's take all of this and move it somewhere. And then we can maybe have like a fish swimming and then maybe like more of these guys everywhere because things are happening. I don't know. I don't know. I've chosen so poorly once again. <laughs> what, if, what if we... I... I feel as though I have been tricked time and time again by these backgrounds. I'm like, this will look so good. And then I'm like, oh, it doesn't. It looks terrible. The moon is really pretty. I made such a terrible mistake with this background. <laughs> Actually, with the door. I think I made a mistake with the door. Well, it was either this or the, the, the little wolf thing, which also wouldn't have been cute with this, so... Okay, how can we... recomposite this together? Like that? I 
I just, I feel like this is giving like... Graphic design is my passion. You know? <laughs> like, it's not good. I feel like this is okay. I I don't I don't love it. I don't love it, but I I'm working with what I have. <laughs> okay. That's that'll that'll work. Don't judge me. Great. Origin of species. Card legend. The ever boiling sea of tears grants access to the most profound emotions. The door holds the promise for quenching many kinds of thirst. The overflowing water from the jugs represents inner desire. The flood of water can unleash hidden potentials, meanings, introspection, yearning, passion, power. Cool. Now come upstairs. You're going to read the cards for me. Oh dear. Am I? Am I now? Are we sure? Okay. Time for some divination. This is your area of expertise, so you guide me through this. Okay, a card reading with just two cards, huh? Hmm. We need to test if these really work, so I do a reading. So I'll do a reading if we can con I'll do a reading we can confirm on the spot. I'm gonna read your past. Whoa, that's bold. I like it. I'm ready. <clears throat> it's been a couple centuries without my deck. It may be a bit rusty. You just enjoy it. You're among friends here. I just feel like that just, they're just, I feel like they're just, they're giving me, they're giving me some icky feelings. I don't feel, it doesn't sit well with me. Okay, it's going to be a very simple reading. I'm going to draw a card and place it on the spot to read into your past. Here we go. Well, we only have two cards, so. The prairie grants a space. Yeah, well, I, we have to assign it, so. Uh-huh. Guide, discovery, justice, predesti predestination, and luck. You served many witches in the past. You served many witches in the past. Is that true? From what I've read, you were exiled thousands of years ago by the founders of our coven. That is correct. Thousands of years... Uh, thousands of years is but a tiny fraction of this universe's age, though. Your recollection of my existence may begin with your coven, but I have served many witches from this universe, and the universe that came before this one. I'm sure other covens keep records of different myths about me, but I am considered forbidden knowledge in most magic societies. So I doubt witches will ever get the full picture of my behemoth nature. Will I ever get it? The full picture? You should leave that human husk first. Your organs aren't prepared to contain or withstand some truths about this reality. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I know, I just wanted to take some of the wind out of your sails. Good grief. Oh, we got more things! Okay, so now we have three and three for air and water. Great! Wow, what was that? I felt an energy surge. This is your deck harvesting energy. Whenever you do a reading, you'll harvest magic akin to the card you drew. Fortune telling will be your main source of energy once we seal our pact. I see. Alright, the cards work. 
They work like a charm, I must say. You're a gifted fortune teller, my friend. Thank you. I really missed this. I almost forgot how exciting it is to dig into the secrets of the cosmic wheel. I'm so happy for you. I'm so thankful. We're just getting started. Now get some rest. Tomorrow we'll make another card and do some more divination. Looking forward to it. Good night. Ooh. Oh my god, they love me! Great. I did want adoration. Do you think you will ever be able to love a being such as him? Oh, like love love. Ah, uh, that's not safe, I don't think. Let's just keep it platonic, you know? Today's lesson is about Earth. This is a powerful one. Aren't the other ones powerful as well? Well, of course. But this one is pure potential. Literally, power. Okay, okay, glad to see you excited. Let's begin the lesson, please. Okay, Earth. Earth, how can I sum it up? Earth represents determination, empowerment, everything that pushes you forward. Earth is grounding, support, the source, but also direction of your force. Earth is your drive. Earth is strength. That's it. But bear in mind that you, uh, that it doesn't only refer to your own capabilities, but also to the support of your allies. To master one's earth is to be aware of where to look for potential, not to be drunk on one's own power. Motherly love, loyalty, sisterhood, those are also forms of earth energy. I understand. Now, for the third part of our contract, we will seal our energies, our earth energies together. Lay the question on me. Remember, your answer will affect your fate dramatically. For the earth seal, Mm, what do you want to become? Your main source of determination. Love, the support of my friends, conquest, defeat of my rivals, myself, personal growth, and self-realization. Um... Oh, see, okay, listen, obviously not conquest. I'm not, I'm not really a conquesty type of witch, you know? Um, love, the support of my friends would be sick. But I would love it more if it said the support for my friends, like f of and for, you know, because love's a two-way street. Um, however, my self, personal growth and self-realization long term. Is that going to do any damage? It might. Determination is myself. Is that egotistical? I mean, I did choose adoration before. My main source of determination. Myself. The lone wolf, huh? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Is that how I came across? I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that like, I just meant that like you can't, can't help other people or expect other people to love you if you don't love yourself first, right? Can't help other people if you're not okay with yourself. Well, that's not entirely true, but you know what I mean. It's the safest position to rely on yourself. Okay, I don't need you to read me like that. I just hope you never break down or your willpower will shatter and there will be no one able to pick up the pieces. Fuck, see, that's what I was thinking. Oh no. It's okay, I've come this far by myself. Oh, she's strong. You sure look strong, I concede, I'll concede that. Very well. Now I will seal our energies together. Get ready. Oh dear. The power. Love Earth contracts. I almost vomited with this one. Yes, Earth has a lot of presents. I've seen other witches puke right after sealing it. I'm one of the tough ones then. Oh, you bet you are. Even the first one not to cry during the ceremony. Although, 
We still have fire to seal. That one is painful, even to me. Oh no. We can do this. Only one to go. Now to the fun part. Let's make a card! Okay, let's do it. Let's make a card. What are long sleeves? They're so cute. Okay, what do we have? This one's gonna be yellow. Moonstone Temple. I would like to see the whole picture, not just this tiny little part. I don't want to be burned again. Before magical enslavement was forbidden, the long lost coven of the Jade Sculptures tasked seven major de demons. Demons? Demons. With carving a gigantic temple out of, the, out of a moon. The unspeakable dimensions of the temple make the witches who study inside its halls aware of their insignificance within the universe and enhances their powers th through humility. Okay. Oh, we could do this one. Oh, um, maybe we don't do this one. <laughs> Less than a century ago, the architect witch Greth, Greth? Sure. Greth, Grethy, um, unsure. Carved 13 skull shaped rooms out of an asteroid belt, all connected by ivory walk bridges. The rumor says these chambers turn a witch's words into energy and allow them to communicate with extra dimensional beings. Okay. Oh, slim pickens. I mean, we have more uh, air and water to choose from, but I kind of just want to do whatever this one is. What are we doing? Earth? I want to do more Earth, because if we do a reading with Earth, we get more Earth back. Keep it a little even right now. Let's go with the- well? What is the whole thing gonna look like? Maybe this one will be- ooh, what was this one? Very cool. That's fire. Okay, maybe we do- oh. So, oh, this one. This is one. Okay. Titan Quarry. The Titans are said to be able to mine a planet the size of Earth in less than 50 years. Their kind is unable to hurt a soul, so they only mine asteroids or planets that are un unable to sustain life. No one knows what they use the mined materials for. They are happy with to share their ore if you ask them with respect. Maybe that's the one we do. I also do that one. Okay. Let's. Inside the Warhouse, the Warhorse Nebula, there's a passage to a non Ecludian canyon filled with a hundred obsidian towers. No witch who knows who erected them. If you climb onto a tower, you can see versions of yourself looking back at you from the many windows of the rest of the tower. Or are they the ones being watched? Let's do this one. I'm gonna regret this. Cause like, what is that hand connected to? But... Seems fun. Pilot of the, Me uh, the Machina Cult. Coven of the Machina Cult erected these steel golems according to the instructions detailed in the scriptures uh, that in the Beldum Automata handed to her coven uh, after returning from a 70 year long trip into a black hole. She's sick. Look at her. Look at her in there. That's cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. The dragon could be fun. Born from the imagination of mortals and extinct because of their greed, dragons were known for keeping treasures and grudges. I feel like that goes well with the card. We could also do this one, but I feel like that... Oh, look at this little... Look at that. Look at him. He's kind of cute. 
A behemoth that keeps three of every known seed in this universe, which is can ask for any of these seeds under oath to restock them after they collect the fruit. Should they fail to deliver, the eyes of that witch will turn into said seeds and the oracle will come to harvest them. Ominous. Ooh. Deer folk paladin. That's cute. It's gonna look terrible with our with our with our background. Guardians of the Deer Folk Witch Coven. Just like humans, male deer, deer folk can't become witches. Unlike humans, male deer, deer folk, that's such a hard word for me to say, aren't blind to magic and they give their lives to serve to service of their to the service of their coven to protect knowledge and hunt traitors. Good for them. Right, the bartender. Navy and dancer, we do have enough for that one. Exotic dancing spirits that are summoned throughout the universe for their ability to make a celebration the levels of pure ecstasy. They've never visited planet Earth. That's just mean. Why not? <laughs> the florist? Beautiful. Not for our... Not for the background that we chose, though. A very old man that has given his entire life to the art of growing and reading flowers. He's got to know not only their names and properties, but their effects on the hearts of mortals. Okay. Let's do... Let's do the dragon. I feel like that'll... I feel like that might go well with what we have. Golden shovel. The last bladed tool forged by the gold blower. The golden shovel is hollow, so you can feel the energy resonances of the earth while you dig. Um. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think that goes with what we're doing, though. Cane of carved wood from a sacred willow makes grass sprouts from every hole it pokes on even the most arid soil. Ether wings. Glass trident. What is this? Magic trinket created by boiling seashells in beluga oil and marrow bone. Whatever you whisper into the... I don't know. Will transform into gossip that spreads like wildfire among mortals and witches alike. Obsidian sledgehammer? Uh, bolts fixed by the earth by an obsidian sledgehammer are impossible to remove unless you recite the words carved into the hammer's head. They're often used to trap demons or set up camps in wildlands. That's fun. Can't do that one. Coven of the Jade Sculptures crafted these little guardians to bless their roads. Whoever walks a path blessed by a jade roadkeeper will be free from thieves and predators. Oh. The shield. It protects a warrior from their ankles to their eyes. A common piece of equipment for the deer folk paladin. Iron servants to forge the, the forge planet. Let's do let's do this one. Oh, I might regret this. It might blend way too much into what we're doing. But like whatever, let's do it. Fun, 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 fun. What do we have here? You. That's fun. See, I told you. I was like, what is that giant hand connected to? It's connected to this. Uh huh. Reminds me of Adventure Time for some reason. Adventure Time? Come on, grab a friend. Go to Fairy don't like that. Okay, we'll do that. Um, just get the- oops. <laughs> please stop. Thank you, just get out of the way for right now, please. Mm 
make little arms and feet. Okay, oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay, we can give them the little, little arms. That's terrifying, but I love it. Oh, you also need to not be there right now. The arm. You know it's a little difficult. Trying to make this thing look like it's coming out of a th like a thing, and I just simply can't. I'm simply unable. Maybe it'll look like it. Who knows? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. Let's <laughs> put another, another little arm. A little smaller. In the back. Put up a little bit. There we go. That kind of makes sense to be like that, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm fine with that. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, Karn Legend. The Titans of the Quarry reinforce the Arcana with the with their orb. A simple a symbol uh, for a haughty guardian. The golden shovel is a symbol of determination. Excessive earth energy can lead to immobility. Guardian, ego, happiness, indifference, stagnation. Nicely done. Come upstairs and do a reading for me, would you? We have three cards now. Any idea on what to read next? I'm going to read your desire. I want to find out what your true intentions are. You want to expose your teacher. You'll give me no quarter, hmm? I'm game, do your worst. I need to know for the sake of our relationship. Why this one? No, I don't want- I don't want this one. Can I be choose a different one? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. You are deeply depressed. You yearn for peace of mind. You're resentful, but you don't seek vengeance. You seek acceptance. You would like to be summoned more often. You want more witches to desire you. This one. You're resentful, but you don't seek vengeance, you seek acceptance. Oh, wow. Even I didn't know that. I mean, I'm well aware of where that I'm resentful. I've been gravely mistreated for eons, but I didn't stop to think that the cure for that resentment could be forgiveness. I don't think anyone can enjoy a happy existence being public enemy number one. 
It makes sense that you should look for redemption. Hey, hey, hold on a second. I didn't say I should redeem myself. I did nothing wrong. The witches who abused my power are the bad ones in this story. I never forced anyone to seal a contract with me. Talk like an arms dealer. I suggest you stop being judgmental. Judgmental, sorry. Start thinking about how to put my powers to good use so I can clean up my portfolio. We'll see. I am going to draw another card. But four, you're quite a difficult character to read. I just can't tell what your deal is. In addition to your desire, I need to ask. Why do you behave like this? What do you mean, this? The cards speak. Uh, you need to- you need the- you feel the need to make your superiority clear. Try to hide your depression. That's it? Okay. Feel the need to make your superior- he's gonna get so mad at us. I'm sorry, I know that I am your servant. Rest assured that I know my place. Just that I know so many things and I've lived for so long. My understanding of the cosmos is so vast that I perceive you as a child and it irritates me when you get cocky. Cocky, me? It might come off as determination or confidence to you, but your uh, cosmovision is so flawed that I get frustrated just hearing you speak. I don't mean specifically you. I mean anyone who hasn't lived for at least a billion years. That's so arrogant. I don't know, don't get me wrong. I feel frustrated because I don't have the tools to transmit proper knowledge to you. So a self as a self-defense mechanism, I always try to remind my inner low la la inter low la cutor. Why do I insist on playing games where I need to read things out loud? But I transcend reality itself. Still very arrogant. I'm truly sorry. I appreciate you being honest with me, though. Thank you. I'll try to turn down my mystic ego. Alright. You do you. You went in for the kill with this reading, didn't you? That's my divination style. If we don't dig into the intense stuff, we might as well have a normal conversation. You're absolutely right. I can see I won't get bored with you. What now? I'm the one that needs some rest after today's session. Go and review what we've studied so far and get ready for tomorrow's lesson. Fire is the last seal, and also the most trying of the energies. Very well. Do you believe your friends will understand why you summoned a forbidden behemoth? Will they tell on you to your to the coven? Had you discovered the through the fortune telling that a fellow witch had broken the same rule? That is what Adana did, huh? You would have reported her, wouldn't you? Conflict. Ready for more? Yes. How have you found the ceremony so far? Do you want to review any elements before continuing? Uh, I don't think so. It was pretty basic stuff. Understood. What's the matter? You're not as chipper as usual. Ah, yes, I'm sorry. Fire is usually my favorite lesson, and it marks the final step before a contract becomes effective, which I look forward to, but I have a bad feeling about this. That's odd, based on your act and all so far, I thought you enjoyed the threat of desire consequence- of dire consequences. Oh, of course I do. That kind of adrenaline is my favorite thing in the cosmos. What is it then? Look, you're right. I better stop dwelling on silly worries and focus on your tr on our training. I'm just moody for some reason. It's not silly. 
What do you say we look into it with our cards after we finish today's lesson or session? That might be a good idea. That's one of the perks of being summoned by a fortune teller. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> so true. You're on. It'll be a good challenge as the final test for this new deck. Okay, here we go. I need you sharp for the final lesson. Fire it is then. This element is usually feared by most and yearned for by yearned for by those with ill will. But fire is more versatile than most magic practitioners think it is. Fire represents adversity, battle, everything that is against you. Fire is challenge, intimidation, the fuel of every battle. Fire is your wrath. Fire is, there's that fly, fire is the fly that is buzzing around. Fire is your wrath. Fire is conflict. I like how we just keep cutting them off. <laughs> exactly. But don't just dwell on the negative aspects of that definition. Conflict also means growth. And the only, the only time fire is bad is when you're on the losing side. And even in defeat, there is a great deal of growth. You're li the living example of that. Master your fire, and you will conquer anything the cosmos throw at you. To tell you the truth, I'm more intimidated by water. I'm actually quite fond of fire. That makes one of us. Maybe that's why we get along so well. Now, the final contract. This answer will affect your fate profoundly. What will you sacrifice to access my magic? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the- oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I hate this. So like... Immortality, right? It's just harming myself. But like... What is all of- like, I- I just feel like that's kind of stupid. A little bit. Not stupid stupid, but just like, like, we're- I'm probably gonna choose that one if I'm gonna be honest. Like, we do all of this, right? And then- and then we die? We do all of this to get free and then we just die? And then what happens to us? Based off of the cards, I think we would- well, someone would resurrect us and then we're a servant to a coven. Which sounds awful. We sacrifice the coven for like smiting everybody that trusted us. And that just doesn't feel great. What is a witch without her coven? The life of whoever I love the most? I don't know who that is. I don't I don't know who Fortuna loves the most, but that doesn't really feel like a fair decision, right? I don't- I can't- I'll just say my immortality. Oh, I don't want to be a martyr though, but I'm turning the, my, the person I love into a martyr. That seems just evil. <laughs> I don't know. We're not sacrificing the coven though, I know that. Um... Does she love anybody the most? Who does she love the most? I mean, that guilt that she's gonna have to live with for the rest of her immortality. Just to become, just to get magic, to be, you know what I mean? I don't know if we would be able to deal with that. I have so many questions. I want to make sure I make the right decision here. I... I'm not- I don't know. Sacrifice myself or sacrifice one person? We'll do my immortality. You sure about that? No, I'm not! You'll live a maximum of another 60 years after you pay the price? Oh my god. Plus, you won't be able to live in space anymore. You'll have to go down to Earth and live among humans. 
Yes, let me answer differently. Okay, let's let's see. I are they okay? That's a harsh one. I've seen other witches choose to sacrifice the person they love, and it always hurts more than they expected. This will leave an everlasting dent in your soul. Do you want to reconsider? It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like there is. It, this is this is why you don't fuck with this stuff. There's no good. There's no good here. There's no good here. I sure. Yep. No, I don't know. 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 Um, I don't like making decisions. I really don't like making decisions. Um, uh, uh, yep. Duh, here we go. Ooh. Uh, okay. Pray it doesn't break you apart when the time comes to pay the price. Great. Oh no. This is gonna suck. Brace yourself. Oh, we should have chosen my immortality. This is gonna suck. Can't breathe. This pain, it burns. It's breaking my atoms apart. I love it. Fortuna? Uh oh. Oh my god, we're so cute! What the hell? Fortuna, wake up. Oh my goodness. What, what happened? Sorry, I had to wake you up. You've been asleep for a couple of days. You dropped dead after we sealed the fire contract. I thought it might be too much, so I let you rest. I feel dizzy. I had the weirdest dreams. Oh yeah, what about? I can't remember. But it felt premonitory. Terminatory. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad for waking you up, but you have some business to attend to. What do you mean? Look at the window. You've got a visitor. That falcon. That's a familiar from an arbiter. What's an arbiter? It's a good question, honestly. Uh, the arbitrage... Arbitrage? Office is an organism composed of former witches unaffiliated with any coven that ensures no witch is operating outside the laws of mag magical pact. Uh-oh. They also rule over conflicts between different covens and rarely interfere with, inter with internal affairs. It was founded about 4,000 years ago, so it makes sense you don't know it. Yeah, this happened during my slumber. Why were they created? Well, both the Arbiters and the Magical Pact were created after an especially bloody witch war that ended with our coven burning 87 witches inside of a white star. Brutal. To avoid future atrocities, some witches vowed to stop using magic and focus exclusively on keeping the peace. In the beginning, it was a group of devotees who wanted to avoid tragedy, but nowadays it's mainly composed of outcasts that have to serve the arbitrage office as a lifelong punishment. Ah, oh, things have gotten a lot bleaker since I was last put to sleep. This all happened before my time, but I'm more afraid of having witch wars than witch cops. What do you think of the arb what do you think the arbiter wants? Maybe they notice I summoned you? 
That's impossible. My arts are untraceable. Then there's only one way to find out. Let's invite her over. Sure, I'll make myself invisible whenever you get a visitor. When, uh, I'll make myself invisible whenever you get a visit. Also, uh, you have some energy pooled from sealing the fire contract in case you want to expand your deck before inviting the Arbiter over. Okay, plus I still owe you a reading, right? Ugh, don't worry about it. There will be time for that. Okay, okay. But you're not off the hook. We'll look into what worries you eventually. As if I could escape you. Okay. Quicksand Graveyard, a magical ceremony for the witches who dared to tamper with time. The quicksand absorbs the bodies and turns their souls into heat. That's terrifying. Home of Dahlia, the Daggersmith Witch. The white sands of this do uh, dominion are cursed. Earth sediments wake up and transform into bone demons. Demon? Demon. Dahlia hunts them and uses their bones and innards to craft ceremonial knives. Fun! War is meaningless. Sure, we know that one. One of the largest known stars, the Forbidden Behemoth, was once imprisoned at the core of this red hypergiant. A city of blacksmiths um, built inside the skeleton of a, of a titanic behemoth. The bone marrow of the fallen beast burns for eons, so their forges are always alight. Many millennia ago, before witches cracked the cosmic code to manipulate matter, they built a factory under the crust of Venus. It was operated by iron golems and it allowed many human covens to expand beyond the solar system. I still love this one. It's so cute. Okay, let's- I'm thinking this one would look really cool. Yeah. Do this one. Okay. Um. This is sick. Goddess in love. Maybe not. There's this one. Fairy that offers her services as a dominatrix for re dominatrix for re for sorceresses lost in lust. When a witch draws her power from passion, she can reach a point at which her libido takes control. With her extense erotic repertoire, the Duchess of Solace has never failed to exhaust a lustful witch and return her to normal. Okay. Um, although humanity has a long history of witch burning, they've never managed to burn a real witch. Says Pyre of the Heretic. Banner bearer? That's- look at the little mouse! He's so cute! Considered punny. Is it a mouse or a bear? It's a mouse. That's a mouse. Considered punny cowards. Puny cowards! That makes more sense. These witches know there's nothing braver than to charge into battlefield with a cloth instead of a sword. Okay, that's so adorable. Wait, I kind of want to- I want to- I- I... Oh, that one's really cool, though. Pure Blood Seeker, the last coyote gunslinger out to hunt down the, the scions of the purple blood behemoth throughout the vast cosmos. She feeds on their blood and expand extends her life to prolong her never-ending vengeance. Very interesting. The astronaut? Kind of looks like Mercy. In a way. Maybe just like the- anyways. Um, he knows that the time- uh, that, that time is a sea and not a line. He's on a quest to make the universe equal and just for every life form. Ooh, the fallen hero. 
Um, I think that we should do... I don't know. I don't really like... I Maybe... Oh, God. What did we choose? What did we choose for the... The background, like the card, the base card. Think about quicksand. Sure, that's gonna look terrible on there. The asteroids are so cute. With the little star, are you kidding me? Asteroids are in astral bodies, or astral bodies with a with a destination. When an asteroid is born, it is written in its core where and when it will crash they bring fire and change unnatural crimson flames enlighten the dark paths of the mind they shed light over courage but also rage uh, i feel like that would go with the dominatrix one blades made out of the out of demon bones that can light on fire if you whisper the name of the beast they came from mm. eyes of the night pain of the wraith summon flock of legendary prey birds that can deliver any message hunt um any fugitive and seal any trinket trinket mm. hunter witch rifle Let's do, let's, this is so cute. We'll do this one. Oh my God. Okay. What do we have? We have a little graveyard with some bones. That might be a good little, right? Listen, this is so striking. Like just this as a background, but I don't think it's going to work well with everything we have. Which seems to be the issue with all of this, if I'm gonna be honest. Like these are beautiful little little backgrounds, but there we go. We'll make it a grim little scene. <laughs> Me, we'll make it a grim scene. Has her just literally surrounded by snakes? Wait, let's put this one over here. Let's flip this around. don't like that one. I would like this one better. That around. Then we'll have these in the background. Little star. Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm literally living right now. It's adorable and I love it so much. Cute! Another one. Like, flip it. Yeah! Cute! What a cute little scene. <laughs> like, our homegirl's literally, like, going through it. But at least there's, like, cute little stars in the sky, right? Cute! <laughs> I think that'll work. That'll do. That'll be fine. Toxicity. Over- okay. Overflowing with hate and regret, the quicksand taints its visitors. A love too intense on the verge of turning into hatred. The asteroid foretells imminent tragedy. The overstimulated fire energy comes- becomes a cleansing power. Death and rebirth. 
meanings, deception, the unknown, rejection, bad omen, change, and rebirth. Okay. I was like, I can change the- I can't. <laughs> but I could change the meaning of the card. Can I make another one? No way. Yeah, what are we making? Um... Let's do... Okay. I kind of want to do... I don't know how much... I don't remember how much I need for all of this. Mm, I don't feel confident in that. We'll just... We'll wait to make another card. I don't remember how much everything costs. It is uh, pumpkin spice season right now. I'm not really recording this too far in advance, but they just came out with like all of their, Starbucks just came out with all of their like pumpkin spice stuff. And I had a pumpkin spice chai or pumpkin cream, cold cream, whatever chai. And it was so good. And I've never had any of their pumpkin stuff before because they've never had it and anything other than their coffee, and I'm not a coffee kind of girl. Let me tell you, I really want it. It's so good. It's so good. I, I want to make it at home for myself so I don't have to keep going to Starbucks and paying $5.75 for a little drink, a little sweet treat for myself. I could just make it at home, but alas, I feel like it would cost more to make it at home than it would to just go to Starbucks. Like in the long run, you know, because I'd have to buy like the, the pumpkin stuff and like the vanilla stuff and then sure it's just like cream and milk and you whip it all together. But like still we have like if the syrups, I feel like we just if it, and like where would I put them? Where would I put them? Anyways, let's see what this little little guy wants. Dear Fortuna, my name is Thea, and I write to you from the arbitrage office your personal situation caught the attention of my superiors who ta <gasps> no who tasked me with reviewing your case i would like to interview you interview you regarding your exile and write a plea to your coven's leader to revisit your case if we judge the punishment to be excessive oh no so if we would have just waited If we would have just waited, then we wouldn't have had to summon the behemoth and had had we didn't have to choose to sacrifice either our immortality or or the the life of the love of the person we whom we whomst we love most. Well, do we invite them? Sure. I want a witch's hat. They're so cute. Thanks for having me. My name is Thea. Arbiter badge 210. Thank you for coming, Arbiter. I really appreciate the office paying attention to my case. I've, I, I've been isolated for 200 years so far. That's precisely why I'm here. The arbitrage office recently discovered your situation and we are worried it may go awry for the community. Well, yeah. Excessive punishments beget ran uh, rancor? And a thousand year long exile? That's the perfect recipe to build up a lot of bad blood. Hey Google, play Bad Blood by Taylor Swift. Kidding. And we all know that a witch can do with us. Uh, we all know what a witch can do with a surplus of bad blood. Like summon a behemoth and sacrifice the life of whomst they love most. But I'm here to help you. Well, let me know about your case and we'll look for a way to make you feel better. Thank you. I already had a meeting with Adina the leader of your witch clan. Dana told me that you predicted the fall of your coven. She explained to me that she didn't punish you for that, though. She punished you because of how you handled it. 
Apparently, you plunged the coven into chaos, giving ill advice to any witch, telling them to prepare for the end times. And those actions almost destroyed the coven before its time. So she decided to exile you and deprive you of your deck so you can meditate on the range and meaning of your powers. Now, that's the official version. I'm interested in what you have to say. Do you think what I said was wrong? Oh, do you think what you did was wrong? Yeah. Probably should have gone to Adana first. You acknowledge your leader's wisdom. That makes things easier. Next question. Do you think your punishment is fair? No. Absolutely not. This is way too excessive. I understand. Hardly anyone would accept this kind of sentence. How are you coping with centuries of isolation? Well, we do have we do have a We do well, listen, it's so bad that we summoned a behemoth. It's so bad that we summoned a behemoth. So could be better. is horrible. Help me, please. Oh, no. You need to fix your situation. Top priority. Thank you. I think we can at least alleviate your sentence somehow. I still don't understand why Adana deprived you of your tarot deck. I mean, if you're isolated, what does she care if you have t your magic or not? That's something I su I'm supposed to reflect. Oh, that's something I'm supposed to reflect on while exiled. It's a pity because I'd have loved to have my fortune read. Anyway, before I leave, as an arbiter, I'm obligated to ask anything to confess. Actually, I'm crafting a new deck for divination. <gasps> oh, wow. That's bold. But I don't think that I don't think what you're doing is illegal. Well, I am. Uh, well, I'm. I did some of the behemoth. You know to get me out of exile. So... Adana took your tarot deck from you, but she doesn't have authority over your new creations yet. I'm sure she won't be happy to hear it though. You don't need, a, need to report to Adina, right? Oh, <laughs> you don't need to report to Adina, right? I trust in the office's neutrality. Of course. Unless you break the magical pact, or it becomes relevant during a trial, we won't discuss. We won't disclose sensitive information from our investigation. In any case, what I'm crafting isn't a tarot deck; it's something new. Oh, really? Can can I see it? Would you like a reading? <clears throat> As an arbiter, it is my duty to make sure that your new project doesn't break the magical pact. So, I would love a reading very much. Yes, please. It'll be my pleasure. Is there something you want to ask the deck? I want to know what's in the future regarding my career as an arbiter. Very well. I'm going to draw two cards for you. The first one to look for opportunities and good omens. The second to warn you about possible challenges or adversi uh, adversities. Ugh, that's scary. Would you prefer not to know? No, please go ahead. All right, here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Titans of the quarry reinforce their karna and their aura symbol of haughty guardian. The golden shovel is a symbol of determination. I'll assign this to the good. In the future, you and I will become allies. You are going to be promoted to a higher rank. Oh, why? Can't really tell why or how, but I'm pretty sure you will be promoted in the arbitrage office. I'm not really do 
a promotion until I do five more years of service, though. What I'm reading is a lot closer than that. Wow, how is that possible? The cards didn't say, but I feel like I'm really bad at this. Well, you'll earn it by doing something important. Congrats. Hmm. Now I'm nervous thinking about what's, what it's going to be. Just be ready for any opportunity and do your best. Understood. Okay. You're going to kill a witch? She's gonna kill me. Don't worry, everything is going to be alright. Don't worry, everything is going to be alright. Okay. Don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. Oh, that's it? What can I say? Some people are born under a lucky star. I wouldn't call myself a lucky person, though. If I was, I wouldn't have ended up in, as an arbiter. Why do you say that? Aren't you happy? Well, I do enjoy my job, but I didn't willingly become an arbiter. I miss so many things from being a normal witch, like dating and all that, you know? I'm sorry. It's all right. It's what I deserve. Can I ask why? Actually, you can't. An arbiter's background is classified. Oh, I see. Happy to know nothing grave will happen in the future anyway. Thank you. Um, well, what do you think of my new deck? I want to be adored. Oh. Oh, so this is happening because of my pact. Because I summoned the behemoth. What if she's the one we fall in love with? That was amazing! And a bit scary, but mostly amazing. Thank you. Your gift could be a very valuable asset for our office. It's a crime that you're imprisoned here. Well, uh, I shouldn't position myself in such matters. At least not that strongly. In any case, it's an objective truth that your skills are wasted on this forsaken rock. Now, as an arbiter, I can't simply overrule a Dana's sentence, but I'm going to lift the ban on visitation. Wow, can you really do that? I just requested a permit from the main office. It'll become effective as soon as my arbiter's notebook gets updated with a moon stamp. Arbitrage forms are updated in the master grimoire as soon as my pen touches the paper. All of what I've written so far is already in the office archives. Your girls sure are, you girls sure are efficient, eh? There are witch covens all around the universe. We can't afford to be traveling back and forth to the moon temple all the time. Makes sense. And it's official. You can now receive guests on your cute asteroid home. <laughs> this makes me happier than I can express. You deserve this. I'm just happy to ease your pain. My The accent and the voice is slowly shifting, and I don't know where it's going, but it's going places. Thank you so much. I'm just doing my job. Do you want me to let your coven know? Mm, just let Jasmine and Dahlia know for now. Oh. I'm not ready to go public yet. It's been 200 years. I understand. I'll send a falcon to each of them. Thanks again. Well, I should be going now. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And thanks for the reading. Take care. Let me know if there's any trouble. Bye. Well. Making of a witch.
Oh my god, cute! Um, and I had a five minute long orgasm. No way, you're shitting me. How do you know it was five minutes? Were you counting? I swear, I don't know what he did to me. I pushed him away when I started coming. What is this game? He rolled up a cigarette and smoked it while I while watching me squirm? When he put it away, I was still fighting that last spasm over the carpet. I'm so jealous. I want to have a super orgasm too. <laughs> How did he do it? Well, mm-hmm, okay, not reading that one out loud. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Smell of the sea. Planets aligned, what can I say? So cool. Hearing about your sex adventures is so fun. You should write a book. I'd rather keep it between us. I don't want everybody to discover I'm a sex goddess. Imagine dealing with all those slimy middle-aged guys at the office. True, true. You should calm down with the sex goddess stuff a little or you'll end up finding trouble. More trouble, I mean. Oh, come on. It's only been a couple scares. What's life if not to enjoy ourselves? You need to find someone half as good as me to understand all the good sex you've been missing out on, sis. Sis? We have a sister? Or like coven, like sisterhood. Probably. I've got to say I wouldn't mind experiencing for myself what a goddess can do. What are you saying? You have, Alicia. Actually, we broke up. Oh, girl, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, Eva. What happened? We've been dating since high school, and I guess we just drifted apart. But you looked so good together the last time we had dinner at your apartment. Yeah, we've always been good at putting up a front. But the truth is that this last year, we've been fighting too many times a week. What about? Oh, the stupidest details. I have my theory about uh, what was pissing Alicia off anyway. I try to confront her about uh, about it, but she wouldn't admit it because that would make her a bad person or something. It was because of all the activism, right? Wow, how did you know? No, I just said it because it pisses me off a bit too, to be honest. Patrice! I guess sometimes I can be a bit too passionate? It's not that. Being around someone that, fundament that fundamentally good can be frustrating. I mean... You're vegan, only consume local produce, wear repurposed clothes, volunteer at a soup kitchen. But that's not much of a sacrifice. It's just about working on your habits, really. Come on. Okay, I get it. But I never asked Alicia to do all of those things. Like I said, it's not your fault. The fly is on my desk. The fly is dead. <laughs> like I said, it's not your fault. But I couldn't be happy uh, eating a king, a Burger King, eating Burger King and wearing leather boots next to you. Come on. I'm sure their relationship was more complicated than that. Nah, she's dead, right? She just couldn't stand this goody two shoes. Look, the sea. Ah, it smells so good. We're here, girls. Let's offer our souls to the ocean and cleanse all that shit we've picked up over, uh, from the city. Can't wait to see the meteor shower. I'm going to wish for the three of us to leave everything behind and come live here. I love you. Oh, one of them is going to die. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Um, listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry. Terribly sorry. I should have chosen my immortality. Always so corny. We love you, too. Fortuna, are you a virgin? What? Why would you ask that? You never talk about dating and I've never known any boyfriends or girlfriends of yours. I've had sex, but I've never had a relationship. Don't try to look cool. My sister had sex once in... Oh, actual sister, maybe. Patrice is dying. Oh, no. There's nothing wrong with that. I was just curious. I don't know. I like sex. Uh, I like sex, I think. But I rarely find anyone that piques my interest. Well, don't worry. We'll find someone special eventually. And if she doesn't find anyone, that's alright too. Relationships are overrated. 
Maybe. You're out of my business, you two. It's the next stop. I'm pulling over. Oh, whoopsie. Are you okay? I'm gonna start preparing dinner. Do you feel like pizza? Yes! My body is so ready for pizza. Do it, sis. Coming right up. <gasps> we get to make pizza! Oh, okay. Let's just... <laughs> Hold on. We're just gonna do a lot of cheese. Like a lot of cheese. I'm not gonna rotate it. I'm just, just going. We're just going. We're just making, I just realized that I did not put all of this in the center. Okay, that's a little better. Do we want olives on the pizza? What do you think? Why isn't that, like, even? Not me trying to make a perfectly aesthetic looking pizza. Hold on. I can do better. Looks like a clock for a second. Okay. And then some olives. Just to make an appearance. I hate olives on pizza. I what what is that? Okay, you know what? We'll just I I don't think they like olives on pizza either. Okay. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. It looks like a little snowflake. <laughs> There's your pizza, girls. Enjoy. Mmm. There's something uh, magic about this dough. Having a sister that owns a food truck sure is a perk. No way. We lived such a cool life. Yeah, thanks for the pizza and for the ride, Fortuna. Although, I'll just have one slice. Ah, the pepperoni. Yeah, too much for me. Aren't you vegan? Why don't you just pick it off? It's already sweated all over the pizza. I wouldn't mind making an exception, especially with cheese, but pepperoni is a step too far. I'm so sorry, Eva. I'll go make another one right now. No, no, don't worry. I brought some fruit in case you made something I should skip. I wouldn't want to impose. No, really, it's no problem. It's alright, seriously. I'm just happy to be here. I'm so excited, I'm not even hungry. Okay, I'm sorry. On the other hand, I'm starving, and I love pepperoni. So you made my day, Fortuna. Great, causing balance restored. I could have done without the arugula, though. Yuck. Arugula is so yummy. By the way, how long until this meteor shower? It could start any minute now. We'll definitely be watching stars fall in less than an hour. What are you girls going to be asking for? Huh, we're not supposed to tell, are we? That's up to you. But I believe the stars don't care about what you say out loud. What are you going to wish for? Many things. I have a list. I guess that's my most important. I guess my most important wish is I. I want to become a better person. What do you mean? You're already a good person. Don't bother sweet talking me. I can tell. I see it reflected in you, and in people at the office, and in every guy after they. Oh, okay. It's just a little awkward saying these things out loud on the internet. <laughs> I'm obnoxious. You could work on your empathy a bit, yeah. Fortuna, it's okay, we promised we'd never bullshit each other, right, little asshole? I love you. 
one of you guys is gonna die. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but one of you guys is gonna die. I'll never get you two. Oh, she's gonna die. Patrice is gonna die. I'm so sorry, Patrice. I guess we're a pair of mean sisters and that's all there is to it. What do you plan to wish for, Eva? Mm, I want to save the world. Come on, you can't really be that selfless. No, really. It makes me really anxious, even with everything I do, no matter if I recycle, consume critically, go to rallies, or donate part of my income to fight poverty, the world always moves in the wrong direction. We can't fight whoever is in the driver's seat. I want the star to help me not give up against impending doom. I'm sorry. Eva, would you like me to help you figure this stuff out with my cards? <gasps> yes, please! I've been thinking about your tarot deck all day, but I was too shy to ask. You know, I uh, you know I enjoy reading your fortune. Please, go ahead. Look at the little pizza. Look at the little pizza. Alright, what do you want to know? I want to know about the world's fate. It's very brave. Are you sure you want to ask the tarot about this? Yes. Even if what we find is something terrible? Yes. Okay. We'll look into the fate of the world. Also, I'd like to know what I can do to make it a better place. Understood. Focus on those questions in your mind while I shuffle the cards. The kind and calm figure personifies moderation, harmony, and synthesis. The water flowing between jugs is an avatar of communication. You'll set up a guerrilla propaganda group that becomes famous worldwide. Incapable of fighting corporations and government, you'll start a foundation to support the damned. I mean, a guerrilla propaganda group doesn't really sound that great. I... This one. Aw, that's beautiful and sad, but also beautiful. You will create homes, you'll feed the hungry, you'll... Your foundation will give many people a second chance. Oh, you're gonna make me cry! Now tell me what kind of world I'm going to be healing. Oh! The beast is, be is the keeper of everything that is forbidden. Their servants ooze with lust and invite you to fall into temptation. Enlightenment beyond corruption. A non-human entity will rule over us and make us all unhappy. Make us all happy. Super bacteria will decimate humanity, leading us to simpler times. You'll get to witness the beginning of an era of space travel. In time, humanity will expand beyond the solar system. This sounds the the less the least bleak out of all of those. So we'll just we'll say that one. Although, I think the super bacteria is just inevitable. You'll get to witness. Great. Wow, really? That's amazing, but how can you tell? You won't get to set foot on other planets. Oh, you won't get to set foot on other planets, but your grandson will po prosper on Mars. You're just messing with me, right? On the other hand, the Earth will slowly die, overexploited in service of the conquest of space. Many animal species will perish. In time, Earth will be reduced to a planetary slum. Stop, stop, just stop. You're messing with me, right? I swear to you, this is what the cards are telling me. You're usually more vague. Like, there will be an opportunity to develop yourself, or you will soon face a challenge. Now you're, like, channeling visions from another dimension or something? Yeah, I'm surprised too. Maybe it's the energy of the meteor shower, or some planets we don't know about to- about just aligned over my deck. But I see it as clear as I can see your face. This is the fate of the world. So, about the foundation I'm supposed to create. What's its role? Will we stay to pick up the pieces of what they leave behind on Earth? Cards didn't say. 
It'll create good for many people here or on Mars, that's for sure. That's good to know. I didn't expect the cards to be this wild and specific. I'm so sorry. No, it's alright. It's been scary, but also fun. If your prediction ever becomes real, my grandchildren will think I've lost it when I keep telling them how my friend predicted all this through tarot. You're aware that you just totally screwed with Eva's head, right? I didn't mean to. Come on, it hasn't been that bad. A future that that distant just feels like fiction prophecy or not. What about you? Now that you know the fate of the world, what are your plans? I feel sorry for the Earth, but I believe it would be beautiful for humanity to reach other planets. <clears throat> I love space. I would love to leave this planet. Oh, maybe you'll get to visit Mars. I don't think so. Fortuna told, uh, foretold I'll have bone cancer in my 50s. Listen, if she was already going to die, this is this is easier to easier to right? Right? It's it's me sacrificing her for immense power. Mhm. <laughs> So I doubt I'll ever get to reach the stars. That's horrible. Why did you tell your sister that? We were kids and I dared her to read as far as she could into my future. I never read uh, to anyone's end. I've never read to anyone's end ever again. I felt a terrifying presence lurking beyond my vision. Like if I could keep on reading beyond death, then... Ugh, now I'm scared. I will never forget that feeling. At that moment, my fortune-telling skills were enhanced in some way. I've never been wrong since. It's true, I can vouch for that. Don't tell me that. I don't want the world to go bananas. Maybe we can fight magic with magic. Look, the meteor shower has begun. Let's ask the shooting stars to fix the scary future. Since it's just the three of us on this beach, why don't we tell the stars what we want out loud? I already told you what I was going to wish for, so I'm okay. Okay. I'll go first. Please, stars, save the world from the fate Fortuna foretold. Or give us, uh, give us a chance to make it right. You made my sister sound like a villain. Oh, I don't say that. Stars, please make my sister happy. Help her find whatever she always, she's always been looking for. Are you going to wish to become a better person? Nah, that wouldn't suit me. I'd rather use my wish to take care of my little sister. That means you're a good person already. Oh, shut up. Don't ruin my cool moment. Come on, Fortuna. Ask them. Speak from the heart. I... Doesn't matter. Please tell us. Where's your mind? What's the thing you want so wildly only the stars could give it to you? I want you to be happy. I know there is something else. I smell it in the sea breeze. I keep seeing it in the dance of every flame. When I look at my cards, I can tell that magic is real. Yet everyone's always reminding me of how childish I am. I don't want to be a woman. I want to be a 